but this with this one it has really helped with the attendance as compared to last year the attendance has increased with the help of the, the mobile messaging app then if they call they will tell some of them you know you are supposed to come back to the facility at this time that has helped us with the defaulter rates and everybody, I mean, I know this is a silly question, but pretty much everybody has a cell phone, so everybody can use the fewer code. Yeah, the people who don't have cell phone, they use their husband's number. It's been a fascinating afternoon to see this idea of community engagement come to life. I think it's brilliant. One of the things that's happening, right, with the use of, use of the QRs is the ability to track the women who are receiving care, make sure that they continue to receive timely care, make sure that they're receiving timely information as required. Uh, and I think it's a phenomenal tool that has all kinds of applications, not, you know, in, in this community and communities across the project and honestly, projects across the country. It's been a great opportunity to see how communities are working and also to see how USAID funded activities are really doing very well in their communities. You can see the investment are really yielding quite a lot of positive results. We are seeing behaviors begin to shift and then we're also seeing quite a lot of um, health outcomes that are coming out of the communities and the communities taking central role in terms of demanding for healthcare services and also accessing healthcare services. So that, that particular aspect of this work is really uh, enhancing outcomes within our communities and also helping building capacities uh, within these communities. And that's been very impressive. Seems like it's a very productive, very effective working relationship. And, and honestly, that's what keeps everybody at the top of their game, is this mutual accountability. Yes, clearly you can see that the ICT activities are prompting communities and prompting mothers as to the services that are available at their healthcare facilities and the capacities that have been built um, uh, to the healthcare services, they are able to handle these um, mothers when they come to them. So that has been very, very impressive. At least we are using leveraging on ICT to be able to pump mothers, to be able to change behaviors, and to be able to change attitude towards health service uh, access. And that's been one of the greatest points for this project. Yes, the community have taken up most of the capacities that they were built with. They, you can see the processes that they've gone through to prioritize their health needs and be able to work around the community for their health needs. They are sustaining their activities through their own effort and self-help initiatives. They are mobilizing resources within the community. They are engaging and they are, they are ensuring that many people are accessing healthcare services at the chips level. And you can also see the effort that they are putting together for their self-help project to get a residence for, for their midwife so that deliveries at night will be, will be something that will be achieved. And they are doing very well. And I think this is very, very impressive. And we need to get this across all communities and ensure that people are taking their health needs by themselves and pushing for services access. My last words, thank you for allowing me to be part of this engagement. Thank you and congratulations.